Hello, I am Kyle Zimmer. I am non-binary. I use any of the pronouns, he, she, they, whatever you want. I am a college student. As of right now, I'm 20 years old. And I think I just want this YouTube channel to be one of two things. One, either a place where I can put my thoughts, where people can resonate with them, contribute to them, maybe even correct my thoughts. Or two, just a place where I can put my thoughts and I can look back on them and do that all for myself. Uh, I definitely want to do a kind of format thing where I have a topic and I can just be talking to myself or just talking with guests, maybe friends of mine, maybe people that I wanted to interview, um, anything like that. I want this to be a consistent thing, so I will try my damnedest to try to upload a video every couple weeks, um, but I am in college and I do work and I do do all this, so just bear with me. I really would like this to be an interactive sort of thing where you guys tell me what you guys want me to do. Um, I can do an about me thing. I can do like a campus tour, talk with friends about certain topics. I, I honestly, when it comes to talking to myself and talking with people, with people and myself, I would like to do like abstract thoughts just to get the conversation started and then just go off from there. I, I want to stay away from news stories, even though I'm not going to ignore, like I'm in the real world, I'm not going to ignore what's going on. But I did, I did appreciate uh, when I would go on YouTube, there was always places where it would kind of be like a safe haven uh, for where you can kind of ignore the world's responsibilities just for like 10 minutes, just focus on the screen and just be with me, have fun, do whatever. And I, I really appreciated those YouTube channels. And I kind of kind of want to give that same energy but also I'm poor like I, I don't have like the extravagant things where I can be like huge challenges doing 700 scissor kicks to the neck with a huge thumbnail with me going like this like I can't do that but I can give you someone to look at <laughs> while I talk <laughs> or someone you can talk to because I honestly I honestly want to look at the comments and heed your guys' like views and whatnot. And of course, this is like as of right now, this is going to be seen by like four people, but like just later down the line, talking to a larger crowd here. <laughs> um I think that is all I want to do for introductions. As for like today's topic, I got kind of sent back to my childhood recently in classes, and I was thinking about my time having a speech impediment. Uh, and it wasn't, it wasn't super different from now, because honestly, I never noticed my speech impediment. <laughs> in fact, I didn't even notice when it left. Uh, it was really funny. I would pronounce my R's like ua, like W's, and it was actually, I think, a lot more than R's I couldn't say. I couldn't say G's, K's, T's, T-H's, C-H's, S-H's. They put G-H on there, I kid you not. And I, I, I looked at that as a kid, I was like, what do you mean G-H? It doesn't make a sound. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was thinking like though and... Yeah, I did. I I was I was not thinking about like ghost, <laughs> but yeah, I was just so confused as a child when they told me that. But it it was shocking to me how how people could understand me when they listed out all the letters I could not say. I was just like, whoa. Um, but R lasted the longest, um, and I would go to I would have like pull out uh health where they would pull me out of class and just uh, help me speak, basically. 
uh, that's all they did and check my hearing, make sure that my hearing was doing okay. And I think my hearing is a little bit lower than average, but honestly, I, I'm okay now. Like I, I, I got fixed. <laughs> um, I, I think the strangest thing was one day a friend stopped me in line in class and they were just like, okay, say R. And I was just like, of course, back then I was just like, Ooh. and they were just like, okay, now you don't hear a difference when I say er, right? And I was just like, no, no, I don't, not at all. And she would be like, okay, you might be severely stupid. <laughs> of course, five-year-old me would be like, oh, really? <laughs> like, damn, you're, you're, you're diagnosing me, right? Like, you know. <laughs> I, I was so naive as a child. They they could have told me that I was going to die because I couldn't say my R's and I would have been like, no way. <laughs> For real? <laughs> the best part of the entire experience was just one day, my best, my best friend in school at the time just looked at me and was just like, hey, Kyle, you don't say your R's weird anymore. That's strange. And I was just like, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to seem, want it to seem like I didn't know because I didn't, I did not notice at all when I started saying my R's correctly. I don't know what happened. I just, it just happened, but I didn't want to seem like I was stupid. So I was just like, yeah, thanks for finally noticing. Yeah. Jeez. I worked so hard <laughs> to get recognized and it took you this long. Ridiculous if you ask me. The reason why I was reminded of this was because my teacher was talking about uh, students with disabilities. Since I'm going to be a teacher, I need to learn about uh, the legal and ethical, ethical issues with student, with disabilities. Um, and she brought to light to me the fact that since I had a speech impediment, I was technically a student with a disability. And I was just like, I never thought of it like that. I never had that perspective of me having a disability. I just thought that I spoke weird. That, that was it. Um, as a kid, at least. I don't, I don't think that sounds weird now. I think even, even, even as of right now, uh, if I had it, I wouldn't consider it a disability only because I feel like people could understand me for the most part. And I've ha and I work with people that still have uh, speech impediments. Uh, and my brother has a speech impediment still, and I can completely understand them fine. So I guess, I guess my like perspective of having it and then not having it, I just, since I never noticed a transition I guess I never realized that I was at a disadvantage. So yeah. I want to try to not leave topics up in the air to where you guys are just listening to me ramble on like I'm a lunatic, but there may be some weeks where that's just the mood and you might just have to go with it. And I, I'm sorry. I sometimes make myself laugh too hard, and I will try to control that for the camera. But I am weak. You will you will figure this out. The more I post, you will figure out this man is weak. It's not binary, it's weak. <laughs> I goddamn misgendered myself. <laughs> Case in point, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I do want to thank you guys for watching it, taking the time out of your day to look at me. Look at me, look at my lips flap for a second. Um, And feel free to reach out to me any way you can. Tell me how you feel. Yell at me. Kick my butt. Hurt me. Really go to town. <laughs> Sorry. Have a nice day.